Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what I want to do is configure a zone-based firewall on a Cisco router. And we're going to have an inside and an outside. And I'll show you guys how to set up, um, you know, say for example, you have a small business and you only have one little router and you want to have firewall functionalities. These are for small, you know, smaller, smaller companies that you can actually set up your router as a firewall as well. It's called zone-based firewalls. So if you're ready to get into the video, let's get into it. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. So this is the zone-based firewalls configuration lab. We have a VPC1, our router which we can do this real quick. Let's just uh, let's make sure it's on. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and make this bigger really quick so we can see what's going on. Appearance, change, I'll do 18. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's do an enable here. Let's do show IP interface brief. First things first, let's make sure there's no IP configuration before we make any changes. All right, perfect. So the router is good. So I wanna bring the router over here for a second. And what I wanna do, um, I wanna actually, I wanna do some text really quick. So for the network space, what we're gonna do is 192.168.10.1 for the, for, whoa, no, 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 that. Um, so this is gonna be 192.168.10.1 on gigabit zero, zero. And let's go ahead and do inside zone, inside zone, zone. All right, so let's do that. Let's do this here. And then let's go ahead and put outside zone, outside zone. All right, cool deal. That's perfect right there. Let's just make this a little smaller so we can uh, fit this in. So this PC here is gonna be 10. I mean 192.168.10.2 with a slash 24, all right? So, Whoa, I don't want that. Why is no way to have craziness? All right, so put that here. So this is PC1, and then PC2 over here, we're gonna make this bad boy 192, what is it, over here is 192.168.1.2. So let's do that really quick. Let me make sure I have all these. Yep, 1.2. So 192.168.1.2 with a slash 24. Okay, slash 24. All right, so that should be fine here. That's going to be here. Boom. And the outside interface, gigabit 001, zero, zero, uh, excuse me, is going to be 192.168.1.1. Is slash 24. Perfect. All right. So let's make this, uh, let's bring this leave like that. That should be fine. All right. Perfect. So this is the outside. This is the inside. And we should be good to go. This is pretty much our topology. So let's bring the router back in. Actually, before we put the router back in, let's configure the VPCs. Uh, let's go ahead and make this bigger. Change settings. Uh, we do 18. Okay, perfect. So, first things first. First things first, we're going to do show IP. So, there's nothing configured. So, we're going to do IP 192.168.10.2. Right? 2. Yep. With slash 24. Okay, and then 192.168.10.1 for the gateway. All right, so that's gonna configure that. Once that's done, we're gonna do show IP again. 
And now that's configured. Perfect. Let's X out of here. And now let's go ahead and configure PC number two. So to show IP, do the same thing. I'm just going to do it really quick. IP 192.168.1.2 slash 24 and 192.168.1.1. Okay. So do the same thing. And then we'll bring up the router and start show IP. Whoops, show IP. All right. So that IP is configured. So let's open up the, uh, the firewall again to make this bigger which I don't know why it does that, but 18 should be good. All right, cool deal. So we can make this bigger. All right, so we can start configuring this bad boy. So let's go configure terminal. Do the host name first. The host name is going to be zone base firewall router one. All right, that's what I, that's what I want to end up uh, naming that. So now what we can do is configure the interfaces. So interface gigabit zero slash one. So zero slash one is on the outside, I believe. Yep, the outside. So we can do description real quick. Outside, outside, um, outside, that's fine. And um, so the next thing we're going to do is do the IP address. And for this one is going to be 192.168.1.1 with a 24 bit mask. And then no shutdown. All right, perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and get into gigabit zero zero. Interface gig zero slash zero. And now we're going to do IP address. 192.168.10.1 with a 24-bit mask and and do description really quick and this is going to be inside no shutdown all right so now we're going to do show ip interface brief now we can see those two are up all right so all right so i think we should let's do show running config now we should see the interfaces right here. This is uh, the interface for the inside and this is the interface for the outside. Here we go, boom. And as you can see here, this is the inside and this is the outside. All right, so we're making progress. So let's go back into configure terminal. So the next thing we're gonna do is, let's make sure I have everything configured, set up here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is Let's see what we want to do first. All right, let's just do the class map first. We can do the class map type, and then the type is going to be inspect, and then match, got itch, sorry. Match uh, any, and then the word here I want to use is my underscore class underscore map. All right, that's, that's, that's the name of my map, the class map I'm going to use for this, um, for this demo. So match protocol, and what protocol we wanna do, we can do ICMP, we can do a whole bunch of them here, but we're gonna do ICMP uh, just because it's just ping. So before we actually do that, and, and we'll do it before and after. So I'll do ICMP, okay? So we're gonna match on that, okay? So once we match on that, that means it's gonna allow that if we negate it, then it will stop that once this uh, configuration is done. All right, so now we can exit out of here and we can create the policy map. So the policy map type. So what we're gonna do here is what kind of type? We're gonna inspect, right? Of course, we wanna configure the firewall policy map. So inspect, and then if we question mark here, and we're gonna do what? What are we gonna inspect? Do you know? We're gonna inspect my pot like word right here i'm going to do my policy map okay my underscore policy underscore map all right so now that's going to 
um, configure the firewall policy map for my policy map. So I made my own, okay? So we're gonna do class, question mark, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a type of class, uh, we're gonna do a type of class map. I'm gonna do a question mark, we're gonna inspect, and then the word that we're gonna inspect. So here the class, the class map name, I have it written down here, thank God. It's um, my class map. So uh, class underscore map, okay, perfect. So now we're just gonna type inspect, question mark, and that's it, just inspect and exit here all right so exit all right so now we're just back in configuration mode so now what we're going to do is zone whoop not that zone and it's going to be security and then inside i'm going to name it inside all right and then exit and then and then i'm going to do outside Outside, perfect. And then exit out of here. And now we're gonna do the the zone pair, right? Like if we do question mark, we have a whole boatload of stuff here. Go all the way down. We're gonna do a zone pair, okay? So zone pair question mark security question mark, and then the name of it. So I want to name it in dash to out. So pretty much into out. Okay, and then the source is the next one. And then what are we gonna do? From the source, we're gonna do inside, and then the destination is gonna be outside. Okay, oh man, my back. So now we're gonna do the service policy type, and I inspect, question mark, and the policy that we named it, that I named it in this, is gonna be my underscore policy map. Okay, and enter there. Perfect, now we can exit out of here. Now what we have to do quickly is get into the interfaces and assign them the zone membership. So let's go into interface gig zero slash zero. And now if we do zone dash member, question mark, security, question mark, and then this is gonna be um, inside. Right, because this is the zero zero. Let's make sure zero zero is inside. Yes. So inside. Perfect. And now we can just put a quick description. I'm gonna put inside zone. Okay, perfect. So now quick thing we can do is get into the next interface, which is gonna be the outside. So interface gig zero slash one. And then here we're gonna do zone, same pretty much. Let's actually hit zone, and this is gonna be for the outside. Perfect. And just do a description real quick. Uh, outside zone. Perfect. All right, so we can exit out of here. Exit out of here. Write the config. So pretty much what we're doing here is just doing a stateful firewall configuration. That's pretty much what a zone-based firewall is. So what we can do now, before we do anything, let's go back into configure terminal. So I wanna move this down. So let's go from PC1, oh, this bloody thing. Um, let's X out of here, let's go back into PC1 and let's make this bigger. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but it's so annoying. All right, so now let's try to ping 192.168.1.2. It's pinging, and that's, that's PC2 over here. So now let's go back into the firewall, or in this case, the, the router. And now if we go ahead and go to the policy map, uh, the class map, sorry. So if I do, I'm just gonna copy this really quick. Copy, and I wanna paste it so I don't have to. So now, if we do match inspect, or match protocol, sorry. And then the protocol is ICMP, right? So, wow, oh, crap, what did I just do? So ICMP, 
But if I negate this, so I'm going to put no. So now let's see if we can ping it. Now it's going to say, nope, sorry, you're not permitted. You see that now the, now the, the pings, the ICMP requests are timed out. And now let's go ahead and put up and let's go ahead and match it, enter. And now it should work again. Bada bing, bada boom. See that? So that's pretty much how you configure a zone-based firewall. So I want to show you one more thing. What we can do here is just do some show commands. So let's end this. Let's write the config, make sure that's all good. Let's actually take this out of the, the background so it doesn't confuse anyone. So now what we can do is show class map, type inspect. And now we can see the, cla the class map that it's inspecting is ICMP. Because we don't have any web servers, so we didn't do HTTP. We don't have any mail servers for POP or IC, uh, SMTP or whatever, quote unquote. So another one we could do is show policy map and then type whoop, uh, policy there's show policy map it's been a while yeah policy map maybe I'm just uh, show policy map inspect no oh, type oh my god t-y-p-e t-y-p-e and then inspect and then we can see here the, the, the policy the policy map that we have configured um, on our firewall all right and then you know I'll do one more I'll do so zone pair security and then we can see the configuration for the security the service policy which we made my policy map all right so this is pretty much how you configure a zone based firewall on a Cisco router and what I'm using here is, um, what kind of router is this? It's just a, an iOS image, but, uh, do, 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 do. let's see, show flash, show flash. Um, just do show version. It's, I guess it's just like the iOS V. So it's just like a little, um, I'm not even sure, but that's how you go ahead and configure a zone based firewall in, in a Cisco environment. So that's, uh, that's pretty much sums it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like subscribe. If you have any questions about the configuration, let me know my social media or leave a comment below. Again, have a good one. Please like subscribe and you know, all that good stuff. Thanks guys. Take care.